Hello guys, welcome back to this week's episode of TGIF. Thank God it's forever where Jesus does most definitely and ultimately come first. This here is Chaplain Andrew to teach you the unchangeable and unfailable Word of God. Listen for this theme song and you'll know. It's me, hello podcast land. Hello guys, one quick thing I want to mention. One quick thing I want to mention real quick, that we are situating for Dr. Scott's new Outside the Classroom Wednesdays as the new host, and today I had some issues, but thankfully it's okay. He hasn't messaged me, so uh, he wanted to come on to the show today so we can promote the Outside the Classroom Wednesdays, but he hasn't messaged me back, and... Eventually, I am going to get an adapter, and they do have the adapters that I need to make this work. So here is my dilemma today. I will look something up at the same time. Let me see what it says here. Let's see. Yes. Okay. <coughs> so how are you all doing today? I am actually looking up something. Um, we need it as a male. And let's see what they have. They should have it at Best Buy. I know that much. They got lightning cord to that, but that's not what I need. So here's my here's my dilemma. Um, does it say C? That's why. There we go. So here's what my dilemma is. We can get it for fourteen ninety nine at Targets. Okay. So here's my dilemma. My guest cannot come on the show right as we speak right now because. When I go to get a guest on here, here's what I've been working on today, for the most part. Um, My so-called headphone jack. You remember the days when Apple decided they didn't want a headphone jack? So they made an adapter for it where it went from Lightning or C to the headphone jack. Well, I got one of those. It's phenomenal. It does wonderful things. It allows me to connect headphones into my iPhone, which I don't want to do, but... Excuse me, allows me to connect my stuff. It should have allowed me to connect my system into it, but it's an only a one-way idea. Meaning, it only uh, broadcasts one direction, if you know what I mean by that. Basically, it's an input. It's an output, not an input. So it only brings out audio instead of bringing in audio. Which I'm not sure why, because I do believe the lightning port. Hold on. So, I don't know. It They say it's not an input and an output. It's just an output. So, here's, here's what I've been working on. My iPhone does not, for some reason, allow me to... Yeah, you can.
Yeah, you can. So the problem is, is that my headphone jack connects to my sound system. And every, everyone that goes is in through there, I can hear them clear as day through my headphones. But they can hear me, but only through my, only through the microphone on the iPhone. So I need an adapter that plugs into my iPhone, which then will then plug into the mixer that I'm using. And then from there, they should be able to hear me. So, that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at that idea there because I don't know what the deal is, but I think that's the only other option that we have. Because in order for me to have guests on the show, I can't sit there and have a show like today full of music and then I hear anything that I'm talking about. I know I ramble on a little bit with you guys, but I want to tell you what's going on because... You are my listeners. You're part of this show, and you guys like what's going on. So I give you my day a little bit so you know what's going on. So you know how to pray and what to do for me. So with that being said, I won't ramble on too much anymore. But I do want to say hello. Happy Saturday to you guys. Happy, happy Saturday. By the way, my wife is feeling better. She's not the greatest yet. Pray for her. She's got some pain going on. We could have... Uh, some other stuff going on too, so we're taking some tests and doing a few things, but she's doing better. Let's just say that. She is doing a whole lot better than what she was doing. So, with that being said, how are you all? This is officially Worship Saturdays. And Worship Saturdays, again guys, is not just another episode, in which it is. It's not just another episode of Worship Saturdays, in which it is. It's not just another a podcast episode, in which it is. Worship Saturdays is a phenomenon. Doop, do, 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 do. Phenomenon. Doop, do, do, do. Phenomenon. Doop, do, 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 Phenomenon. Phenomenon. Weed, weed, weed. So, Worship Saturdays is a phenomenon. It's one of the greatest things that, besides Monday night. Monday night is my top of the line episode. Everyone knows they love the Monday night show. But, Worship Saturdays is one of those things that just is phenomenal. It is absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to do something. I'm going to go into my Nudge app. Because yes, even my co-workers need Jesus. I'm not the only one who needs Jesus. So we're going to go into my Nudge app. There's some chats going on in here. And I'm going to paste the app. Paste the, uh, not the app, but the link to my show. Show link. Because even my, even my co-workers need some Jesus. And let them hear that. Even my co-workers need some Jesus. So let me click on that for a minute and see if it takes me to somewhere. And it does. It takes you straight to the show, Worship Saturdays. It it says I'm live. That is phenomenal. That is absolute phenomenal. With that being said, how are we all doing today? What is up in your lives? And I got a message. My friend back. My new friend. Yes, I got a new friend. Can't tell you specifically who he is or whatnot, but let's just say it was somebody that I was... Uh, with as a kid in the boys' homes that I grew up in. And uh, we're going to, uh, we'll talk more about that later. But you pretty much know about that idea, about the boys' homes I grew up in. But he was somebody that I grew up in the boys' homes with, and we reconnected and stuff, and it's just been a true blessing. Let's just put it that way. It's ministry. It's pure ministry. 
So let's get into a few brief announcements, starting with number one, go to communitycloud222 at gmail.com, spelled C-O-M-M-U-N-I-T-Y-C-L-O-U-D-222 at G-M-A-I-L dot C-O-M. And guess what you can do right there? Well, you can send me all of your prayer requests. Even, even if you want me to shout out to you on the podcast, send me your first name, your city, and your state, and I'll shout out to you on TGIF, where Jesus does most definitely and ultimately come first. Here's what a shout out is. This is a shout out from TGIF to my mother-in-law, Mary Lou Roach, in Michigan. Or, I'm not exactly sure, I think she's in the St. Clair Shores, Michigan, or something like that, but that's just a shout out. Or you could, that's just a shout out. So there you go, guys. That is a shout out, or here's a good one. I want to make this shout out to my buddy, Mr. T, at work. Hello, Mr. T. This is a shout out to Mr. T from Solon, Ohio, at Nestle. Hello, Mr. T. How are we doing tonight? This is Sir Talks A Lot. And if you really want to know on the show, Sir Talks Really A Lot. (laughs) That's a story that I should tell you later on. Actually, I'll tell you now. I talk so much at work because I'm just an excitable person. I talk and talk and talk and talk. You already know because you're on the show with me every week. And he knighted me once with the knives. He says, you are Sir Andrew. Sir Andrew of the knives. And I said, no. I said, from now on, I'm Sir Talks a lot. He goes, that fits you perfect. And he cracked up laughing. It was an, a hysterical moment at that moment. So I am now forever Sir Talks a lot. And then on the show, Sir Talks really a lot. That's just who I am. Sir Talks a lot. So with that being said, guys. With that being said. Let's get into a few. Of brief announcements. Starting with number one. Go to communitycloud222 at gmail.com. Spelled. Wait, I just did it, didn't I? Yes, spelled C-O-M-M-U-N-I-T-Y-C-L-O-U-D-222 at gmail.com. And you can send me all your prayer requests, even if you want to shout to you on the podcast again. Say your first name, your city, and your state, and I'll shout out to you on TGIF where Jesus does most definitely come first. Okay, sorry about that. Also, you can call us at 1-302-448-8443. Again, that's 1-302-448-TGIF where Jesus does most definitely and ultimately come first. Also, guys, be vitally aware that you can call us. Well, at 1-302-448-8443. Again, it's 1-302-448-TGIF. Sorry I keep repeating myself, but be vitally aware. We are are just about ready for Dr. Scott's Outside the Class for Wednesday's performance. Not performance, but his show here on... TGIF, where he will be the new Wednesday night host, not a guest host. He's not a, a co-host, a guest host. He is the host of that show, and he can do whatever he feels like doing. So, he can do whatever he feels like doing on the show. And it's going to be a blessing, because he's going to bring a lot of good to the show, guaranteed. A lot of good's going to come out of that to the show. So, with that being said, I also look forward to this week's episode of, uh, next week's episode of Kingdom Collaboration Thursdays, where you take Pastor Lance and Ornest Travis's message to those in the out to outside the classroom, to those who need the gospel each and every day. Be aware, we're doing this this week. We're doing out. We're doing now Worship Saturdays. We'll be doing that again next week as well. We just praise, prayer, and worship. Grab your favorite drink, relax in your lounge chair, favorite lounge chair, and enjoy the music we have here, we here have on the show. And my wife asked me before, she goes, why do you say praise, prayer, and worship? You don't pray. Yes, we do. At the end of the show, we pray. So we sometimes we pray beforehand, sometimes we pray afterwards. But normally we pray at the end of the show. So we do our show, and then we pray. That's just the way it works with us. I know during the message show we should pray during the mess uh, before we do the message, but we don't. 
and I get right into my message. So we need to work on that as well. But we are doing Worship Saturdays. I hope you thoroughly enjoy the song selections that I've picked out for this episode. They're the same songs I've always played, but I arrange them in whatever order God wants me to. So it's God doing the selecting, not me. I don't select anything. I just let God take over. With that being said, also guys, Friday night, well not Friday night, but uh, the Rumble is going to happen, just not yet. We're waiting on... uh, we're waiting on getting situated for outside the classroom Wednesdays, letting that go through for a little bit because that will be a perfect idea because once outside the classroom Wednesdays starts getting going again, then we can start getting the rumble started with that as well. And look forward to one more thing I want to say too before we get to what you can do. Look forward to my wife soon. She is going to be part of each and every show. Now, She's not going to be live with us on the show. But it'll be synced in so well that once she does what she does and I push a button, you, it'll seem like she's she's there. Like I'll say, okay, hon, go ahead or take it away or whatnot. I push a button, she'll say, thank you. And then she'll say the announcements. And so the announcements are recorded. But when I sync it together from what I say to what she does, Like, okay, hon, take it away, or go ahead, hon, or it's your turn. Then she says thank you, and then starts the announcements. Then it'll sound just like she's here. So look forward to that, because then you get to hear a little bit from her. Now, you ain't going to be able to ask questions or nothing. It's just a recording that she's doing for the announcements. But it's it's one of the ways that she will be able to be part of the, the podcast so once she does her cooking without carbs or cooking without carbs, what not, or do her little segment, then she'll be fully doing a part of like, say, a Tuesday night or a Wednesday night or whatever night she decides to choose. And when she decides to record that night. And who knows, it might be every other week, it might be every week. I don't know. It's all her choosing because she's the host of her show and she does what she does. So that's it. Now, the last thing to mention, well, two last things to mention is the app. You can download the app. It's called Podcast Portal, available on the Google Play Store, the Amazon App Store, and the App Toyed Market. And you can do all these wonderful things on the app. So download the app, and then you can listen to the show. You can make comments with, you can make comments and like the show at a free Spreaker.com account. That's S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R.com. You can also download each and every episode. First, let me mention what you need to do to download the episodes. In case you do not know, you start an episode as the commercial plays. You hit the download button. And then it'll say, would you like to download this for the first time? You say, accept. And then it'll never say that again. Or you can always you can always have it ask you that if you really want to. By say, always ask first. But it'll ask you, and then you'll, you'll accept it, and then every time then you just hit the download button when the commercial starts, and you'll start downloading. Once you start to download, you stop the episode, and you're good. You're downloading that episode. And then you can either save it, listen to it for uh, further reference, or whatever you want to do with the episode, you can. If you really want to, and you want to take my content, and you want to post it in other places, or you want to... Say you host a podcast, you want to put me on one of your nights of a podcast, feel free to go ahead and do so. But just remember one thing, though. Make sure they know where you got it from so they can come over to this way, too, and share some of that love, too. See what I'm saying? Because we're all creators. And I don't care that you share my content. That's beautiful that if you like to share things about what I do. It's great because I'd like to share what other people are doing. That's why I got Dr. Scott coming on. That's why I got Pastor Lance on Thursday nights. That's why I do all these different things. I got Dudley Smith's music playing on Saturdays and the Light Warrior and Larry and Dr. Tom. So there's a lot of things happening. And that's why if I don't mind you doing that because people do it anyways. People do it anyways because what they do is they take my content and like I'm on Listen Notes. 
And I don't know what Listen Notes is. I've never even heard of them. But yet somebody put me on Listen Notes. And whatever that means is that what that means. I don't know. I just know that I'm on there. So let me do this real quick too. Podcast. Portal. And there's people that's got my app, Podcast Portal, on all these different podcast portal app on all these different websites around the world like here's Google Play and this is uh, well this is the Google Play Store and uh, yeah there's a uh, there's a uh, people there's places around the world where they actually got podcast portal portal in their apps stores which I don't know how that's possible because I didn't put it there so somebody must have put it there but it is what it is at least it's getting somewhere that's all that matters <coughs> So with that being said, what else can you do on the app? Well, you can uh, you can connect with us through Facebook, Twitter, and email. Yes, email. Here's what you do. Go to the bottom right-hand corner of any page and click on the uh, email button. It looks like an envelope. Click on that button. And then what you do is once you click on that button, you click okay, click the button, click on your email client, click always, type in your email, hit send. It sounds like a lot. Trust me, it does. But when you go back to that, it sounds like a lot. When you go back to the email button again, Guess what happens? Instantly takes you right straight back to the email button again. Takes you right straight back to the email button. And you never, ever, ever have to click always or your email client again. Just that quick and you're there. And so what can you do? You can send an email. Instead of having to type in C-O-M-M-U-N-I-T-Y-C-L-O-U-D-222 E-G-M-A-I-L dot C-O-M Whew! You can just click the button. And there you go. It takes you right straight to that email button. So it takes you right straight to the email again. And you never have to type in a single email again. With that being said, you can also DM us on... Twitter as well. I'll respond ASAP as soon as I can. And you can connect with us to the Facebook page that we got going on. Just click on the Facebook page and then what you do from there is you can either message us through the messenger as long as you're logged in or you can message us through well you can call us too right straight from the app. Right next to where it says message at the top there's a phone handle. Click on that and you can instantly call us straight from the app it goes to your phone dialer of course but it, you can message us you can call us straight from the app never have to dial the number again that's one three zero two four four eight tgif never have to dial that number again you can view all the blog postings we have which i gotta update that as well i will do that while i'm doing the show because as the music is playing and i'm worshiping god i can update I don't really need to update last week's show, but I need to do this Monday show, but I need to do King of Collaboration Thursdays. So I'll update that ASAP while we're doing what we're doing for the worship show. And I'll worship as I'm doing it. And uh, so you can view the blogs. You can view anything we got. We got a store now. We've had a store for a while for the uh, for the podcast. I'm actually going to be putting the podcast logo onto a mask i think that'd be or not a mask per se but like on shirts 
I'm going to update that and put the podcast logo on there as well. I'll put all of them. I'll put Mondays. I'll put Saturdays. I'll put, I can't put Thursdays. That's for sure. But Mondays and Saturdays, I can. Thursdays, I can't because Thursdays is technically copywritten. Because it's Kingdom Collaboration Thursdays with Pastor Lance. So I can't really put theirs on there. But I'll put Monday. I'll put Mondays on there. I don't need to do Saturdays. I'll put Mondays on there, and I'll put it on a few different items: mugs, hats, uh, mugs, shirts, sweaters, and things like that. So you'll be able to get a Tumblr with our logo on there if you want to. I got the Swag Attire Store logo on there as well too. So I got that going on for it as well. But so probably with the Swag Attire area, I can update things. I'll do an I'll do an update, and I'll add some more stuff. Maybe I'm thinking about this right now. But I will update the blog ASAP. And yeah, what else can you do on the app? You can listen to the four play buttons. Ninety five five the fish from Cleveland, Ohio. KJIC out of Texas. My former church, Evangel Christian Churches, and my former church now that I used to go to here in Ohio, Portage Community Chapel. So with 95 Find the Fish and KJIC, just click one of their buttons and it plays their audio right straight from the radio station. Click on Evangel Christian Churches button that says Evangel on there, and it will instantly take you to their YouTube page. Click on their YouTube uh, videos and you'll be able to watch and see them and everything. And hear them. With Portage Community Chapel's abstract button, I got to fix that too. It's just a little rectangle shape like the rest of them. And it's got their browns, greens, blues, and all that. Click on that button. It takes you to the revival page. It's at their about page first. So click on videos. Click on a video that they have that doesn't say upcoming. And then click the play button. And you're playing their videos. So with that, you can even message them straight through the app as well if you'd like to. With that being said, my favorite part of the app is Portal Chat, where you can chat with anybody who owns that app. If 500 people own the app, you can chat with 500 different people from around the world. You can even send pictures straight through the app, but you got to take a, a picture at your phone, save it to your camera roll, hit the camera at the bottom of Portal Chat, hit upload photo, upload picture, and hit send, and you instantly send the photo to the, to the app. So if you're in, in uh, France and want to show us the Eiffel Tower or you're in China and want to show us the Great Wall, please do so. But to chat, you don't have to have an account. You can just put in your name, Mary, Joe, John, and then hit continue, and you're good. You can chat with anybody who owns the app. You can even PM chat people that own the app as well, too. But be careful. Just because they claim to be a Christian doesn't mean that they are. But in order to send pictures through the app, you have to have an account with an email and a login. That's just the way it goes. You can't just be, you know, Joe Blow from whenever and then expect to be able to send pictures. That's not happening. So you at least have to have some kind of a account with a username and a password. So it's more of a security feature for that reason rather than anything else. But you do not have to have an account at all to be able to just chat. So that's a plus. And there's a lot of security features. It's not, laid, it's not uh, searchable on any website. You can't just go to the Internet and search it unless I give you the code, the, the address to it, or if I give you or if you download the app. That's the only two ways to get if I give you the address to it or you download the app. So I left it as that because it's safer for you guys. With that being said, that's Podcast Portal. Last thing to mention that you can do right now is you can ask your Alexa device, say, Alexa, open Podcast Portal. And she'll say, welcome to or welcome back to Podcast Portal. We can listen to this very show straight from your Alexa devices. We also got this skill for your video Alexa devices as well. Again, say Alexa, open Podcast Portal, and she say, "Welcome to, welcome back to Podcast Portal, Portal." And that does, guys, conclude our announcements. With that being said, guys, let's do this like we always do, and we are going to get into our worship Saturday episode, 
and we are going to be a blessing. So let me I need to figure out because my there we go. My iPhone has not iPhone but my iMac M1 chip computer. I'm not sh still sure how to use this thing. So with that being said, let's get into our first song of Worship Saturdays with not Untitled, and I like doing that because most of Dudley Smith's songs say Untitled or they say uh, Track 1, Track 2, so it's not Untitled, and it's not by Unknown Artist. It is Clean, Clean Heart by none other than my f guest on the show, Pastor Evangelist Dudley Smith. Enjoy Clean, Clean Heart.
There you go, guys. That was Clean, Clean Heart, not untitled by my guest on the show. Not by unknown artist, but by my guest on the show, Pastor Evangelist Dudley Smith. And it's very, very, very vitally important, guys, that you, before you meet Jesus and before Jesus does anything and lets you in, you need to make sure your heart or your house is clean. What do I mean by that? It doesn't mean you take and pick up things off the floor, clean your physical house. No, you clean your spiritual house. You make sure your spiritual house is in order. You make sure it's ready. You make sure that everything you have done is to the glory of God. Now, are you going to be perfect? No. Am I perfect? Absolutely. Now, I always say I'm not imperfect, but I am perfectly imperfect. And that's okay to say. It's okay to say you're perfectly imperfect because you are. You're very imperfect at everything. You, the Bible says we all fall short of the glory of God, but through Christ Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection, guess what? We are all saved. So, are we perfect? No. But guess what? God makes us perfect. God makes up for what we lack. So if we, let's just say, for all sake, even though this is a really horrible example, just say we have a bad problem of lying. No, that's not a good idea to say. Yeah, let's say we have a bad problem with lying. And we do everything we can in our power to stop that lying. Everything. And nothing seems to work. We pray and we pray and we pray and we and we do whatever we need to do to stop that from stop lying, right? Now, is God going to say, you're done, you're over, you're this? No. God makes up for a lack. He knows that we had a problem with that. And he makes up for a lack. That's why... It's important to remember Jesus died on the cross for our lack. So whatever we lack, Jesus died for that. So with that being said, Jesus makes up for your lack. So remember though, it's important to do the best you can to have a clean, clean heart. The Bible says that he is looking for a church that has no spot or blemish. Now that doesn't mean you have to be 100% drop dead, absolute perfect day, perfect that you will not move your big toe the wrong way. No, that does not mean that. That will never, ever mean that. If you believe that idea, then, you're, then your theology is wrong. Because where in the Bible does it say that the disciples were perfect? Where does it say that Peter, Paul, and Mary, no, I'm just kidding, Peter, Paul, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John were perfect? Tell me where it says they were perfect. They're not. Never. Peter denied Christ. Three times Peter denied Christ. So does that mean that you're perfect? No. Peter was so imperfect, he denied him. They said, you're one of those. You're a Christ follower. He goes, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know that man. Get out of my face. Again. He says, I don't know who that man is. Get out of my face. And a third time, before the cock crowed, as Jesus said, when it, before the, the cock crows, thrice will you deny me. And the third time, he looked at them and says, I do not know that man get out of my face. Pretty much is denial. I just gave a, a paraphrased example of the story. And so he left. He left in shame. He's like, oh man, what did I just do? Jesus was right. I denied him three times. And uh, as the story continues, the story continues that even though he denied him three times, in one part of the scripture, Peter had said, you're the Christ, the Son of the living God. He goes, no man 
had ever spoke that to you but God. So yes, Peter denied Christ three times. But was Peter perfect? No. But did God still forgive him for it? Absolutely. He walked with Jesus to the day Jesus went to be with God and further. He still walked with God because at the end of everything, at the end of everything, Jesus returned to his disciples and says, Go out to all the nations, preaching this gospel, preaching the gospel, making disciples out of them. So even at the end, he still forgave Peter, even though Peter technically denied Jesus. Now, the only unforgivable thing is denying or blaspheming the Holy Spirit. Now, did Peter blaspheme the Holy Spirit? No. Because the Holy Spirit did not exist back then. And see, the Holy Spirit thing was the new covenant. I do believe at that moment the Holy Spirit had not yeah, the Holy Spirit had not came yet because Jesus was still on the earth. So he didn't deny the Holy Spirit. But after that, if he would have denied the Holy Spirit and his power, then yeah, Peter would have went straight to hell. But he did not. Because he was forgiven for his sin of of uh, denial, denying Jesus. So, to be to be honest with you, no one's going to be perfect. And even the disciples were imperfect. Very imperfect people. I give you one example, I give you more, but I'm not going to draw the point out. But just just like I said though, you got to do your best and have a clean clean heart. That's all he asks you. That's all he asks of you to have a clean heart and to be ready. And what does that mean? That means asking for forgiveness. Asking for repentance. And saying, Lord, I let's do this now. Repeat these after me. Lord, I am sorry that I have sinned against you. That I have done so many rotten things in this life of mine that I don't glorify you. I, as, as, as I say, Lord, I unglorify you. Meaning, I, as Peter's, or Peter once said, I do everything I'm not supposed to do, but I don't do the things I'm supposed to. So Lord, I ask you to forgive me. I ask you to be Lord of my life. Come back into my life, or come into my life for the first time, and be Lord and ruler over my life. Let me know what you want me to do, so that I can glorify you and witness you to the people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Ba doom boom boom. Amen. Boom boom boom. Amen. 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 With that being said, guys, with that being said, let's uh, get into our next song. And our next song is entitled Ah, We Need by none other than the Cade Daniel Spirit and Truth Worship Band. Again, that's by none other than the Cade Daniels Spirit and Truth Worship Band. Enjoy, we need. Thank you. 
There you go, guys. That was We Need by none other than the K. Daniels Spirit and Truth Worship Band. And if you could hear what I just did, I went to go push the button but never did. And so there was a, here we go, guys. That was We, and then I stopped because I realized it wasn't even moving. So in the recording, before I pushed the button, if you could hear it, I'd say it twice. So there's a solid echo, I call it. With that being said, that was We Need by none other than the K. Danner Spirit and Truth Worship Band. Let's get into another song entitled, and it's, it's absolutely the truth. We need his pure heart, his pure love, because, again, we're imperfect. So we need all of that. We can't become who we are in Christ if we don't get that. So we need that. So with that being said, Let's get into I Give You My Life by none other than Dr. Tom Wright. Enjoy I Give You My Life.
There you go, guys. That was I Give You My Life, but none other than Dr. Tom Ray. And once again, when's the last time you gave your life to God? Just today. We prayed that prayer. And so let me know if you prayed that prayer for the first time or you prayed that prayer again. Let me know in either an email, the comments, or whatever the case is. The phone number, the Facebook page. However you do, let us know you prayed that prayer. With that being said, Let's get into our next song, which is Lord Lead Me by none other than Dr. Prophet Larry O'Rell. Enjoy, Lord Lead Me. There you go, guys. That was Lord Lead Me by none other than Dr. Prophet, my friend, for over 16 years, Dr. Prophet Larry O'Rell. With that being said, guys, again, ask God to lead you. When did we, when did we ask God to lead us and guide us and direct us? Today. So, again, Every single day, ask God to lead you. Let's get into our next song, and it is entitled All Day and All Night by my friend and guest on the show, The Light Warrior. Enjoy All Day and All Night. All day. Gabriel came to the prophet Daniel to bring the answer to his prayer. The answer to that his man prayer. of God felt better when he saw the warrior angel there. was there. All day, all night, they were watching over Daniel and they're watching over me. All day, all night. 
Angels are watching over me. An angel came to Peter to open his prison cell that night. You said him He told me. that saint to rise up and walk out and go and make things right. Preach the gospel. And they were watching. They were watching. Watching over Peter and they're watching over me. They're watching. They're watching. They're watching. Watching over me. The Lord's angel came to Joseph in his dream. His warning, it was clear. Herod's after Take you. Mary and the Christ child and get on out of here. You're going to Egypt now. Joseph and his family all day, all night. Angels are watching over me. Jesus was full of sorrow in the garden of Gethsemane. Full of sorrow. His angels strengthened him before he went to the cross and spoke to him of his victory. Over death and the devil. All day, all night, they were watching over Jesus and they're watching over me. All day, all night. Angels watching over me all day, all night. Angels watching over you and me all day, all night. Angels watching over you and me. Angels watching over you and me. They're watching over you and me. They're watching, they're watching, watching over me. Watching over, they're watching, they're watching, watching over me. They're watching, they're watching, watching over me. Watching over, they're watching, they're watching. Watching over me. Watching over you and me. There you go, guys. That was All Day and All Night by my friend and guest on the show, The Light Warrior. Let's get into our next song. And our next song is entitled A Worship Medley by none other than Pastor Evangelist and my guest on the show, Dudley Smith. Enjoy Worship Medley.
There you go, guys. That was a worship medley by none other than my guest and friend on the sh my guest on the show, Pastor Evangelist Dudley Smith. Let's get into our next song, and our next song is "We'll Sing Hallelujah" by none other than the K. Daniel Spirit and Truth Worship Band. Enjoy. We'll sing Hallelujah. We'll sing Hallelujah. We'll sing hallelujah, we'll sing hallelujah, we'll sing hallelujah. i 
There you go, guys. That was We'll Sing Hallelujah by none other than the gay, the K. Daniels. I about to say the gay thirst. The K. Daniels spirit. The K. Daniels. Excuse me. The K. Daniels spirit and truth worship band. Let's get into our next song. And it's entitled So, so Good to Me by none other than Dr. Tom Ray. Enjoy. So Good to Me. Oh my God, I had left my microphone on. That is okay. You probably heard me singing. So that was so good to me by none other than Dr. Prophet, I'm Dr. Tom Ray. And let's get into our next song. And our next song, it will play and we'll, we'll pray and we'll end it that way. Our next song is For Once in My Life by none other than Dr. Prophet Larry Orell. Enjoy For Once in My Life. For once in 
my life I've got someone who needs me Someone I've needed for so long For once I can go where God leads me Somehow I know I'll be strong For once I can touch what my heart used to dream of long before I knew someone great like you could make all my dreams come true for once in my life I'll not let sorrow hurt me not like it hurt me before For once I've got someone I know won't desert me I'm not alone anymore For once I can say This is mine and you can't take it Sorrow hurt me, not like it hurt me before. For once, I've got someone I know won't desert me. See, I'm not alone anymore. For once, I can say this is mine and you can't take it. There you go, guys. That was For Once in My Life by none other than my friend, and my friend for over 16 years, Dr. Prophet Larry Orell. Let's get into a prayer. Let's pray the show out, and then we'll play the last song, and we'll end it that way. Lord, we humbly come back before you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you are God and God alone, that you are Lord of our lives. And we thank you, Lord, that you're having your way in this ministry, in this podcast, and that, Lord, you will do what you deem necessary. And I thank you, Lord, you're blessing everyone at the sound of a voice, not that it be selfish. Not one of those I need just because, whether I need to get to point A, get to point B. Thank you, Lord, that you're blessing everyone at the sound of my voice, giving them their heart's desires. And, Lord, I ask you to heal them from the tops of their heads to the soles of their feet from cancer, diabetes, muscular dystrophy, multiple sclerosis. Heal my mom's arm that it's not frozen no more. Heal my sister's heart and her diabetes if it's not bad no more. And Lord, heal them from diseases that contracted themselves through sin. Yes, HIV, AIDS, syphilis, gonorrhea, herpes, why? When you heal them, shows your mercy, your power, and your grace. 
I'm reminded of a scripture that says he came through the door. It doesn't say he opened the door. It says he came and passed right straight through the door. That you're all spirit at that moment. Because you're all spirit. Then when he said, Thomas, look at my hands. Thrust your finger to my side and see that I'm God. What did Thomas do? He got on his knees and said, truly you are the son of God. And what did you say? Blessed are those who have seen and believed. So show them now, Lord, so when they come back needing absolutely anything, but it doesn't stop there. It says, blessed are those who have not seen yet still believe. So show them now, Lord, so when they come back needing absolutely anything, they won't have to say, I have to see it to believe it. Because your word again, Lord, says you're the same God yesterday. No, it says you're the same God yesterday and today. No, it says you're the same God yesterday, today, and forever. So show them now, Lord, so when they come back needing absolutely anything, they won't have to say, I have to see it. To believe, because your word says you're the same God yesterday, today, and forever. And they'll say, if you did it, then you'll do it again. We thank you, we praise you, and we honor you. It's all in the matchless name of Christ that we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Boom, boom, boom. Amen, boom, boom, boom. Amen, amen, amen. Let's get into our last song, which is Sweet Salvation Blues by my friend and guest on the show, The Light Warrior. Enjoy Sweet Salvation Blues. <laughs>
There you go, guys. That was Sweet Salvation Blues by my friend and guest on the show, The Light Warrior. That is our show for today, guys. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed it as much as I did. Two things to remind you. Ask your Alexa device. Say, Alexa, open Podcast Portal. And she'll say, welcome to or welcome back to Podcast Portal. Where you can listen to this very show straight from your Alexa devices. We also got the skill for Vita Alexa devices as well. Again, download that app. It is absolutely 100% phenomenal. You can do all these wonderful and phenomenal things straight from that app. With that being said, this is TGIF reminding you to, one, trust the Lord in all your ways, two, lean out to your own understandings, and three, in all your ways, acknowledge Him. And He shall direct your path. Thank you, and good night. <laughs>